His license plate says that car. What a weirdo, bro. They got some kind of, uh, that's some all Santa Maria shit. That's the big bullshit death. Yeah, literally, the saint of death. With an angel of death. Most I say he's a guy of the living. That's true. Why don't we read this? It said, I will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in a day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. Right, all America's enemies gonna come against them. Especially now they got your boy Donald Trump in there. He pissing off the whole world. He done shitted on the Queen of England. And that's that fanner. Yep. Donald Trump is one of them, exactly one of them fanners. Yep. Just helping make the shit work. Stirring up the pot. Yep. Stirring up the that's shit pot. The fanner is another word for like an instigator, yep. some shit like that, you know. Yep. Motherfuckers about to fight, you see motherfuckers surround them. There's always somebody in the crowd, hit them, hit them, hit them. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's us. Pushing them, pushing them shit. That's us out here. <laughs> Same thing, that's Donald Trump. You know, motherfuckers. I mean, he, when he first came in office, when he went over to you, he, they had the meetings, you know, when they get together with other meetings. Remember the one he just shoved aside like? Yeah, he pushed it. I was like, boy. whoa. Man, I would have smacked the living shit out of him, man. But that motherfucker just like, with a dumb look on his face, man. Donald Trump was good. The shit smacked out of him. Yeah, we yeah, protesting. Much, yeah. We protesting America. I'm with him. You with him? You for real? I'm protesting yeah. corporate America. So we, corporate, corporate America. That's killing everybody. Yeah, well, I'm there's a group of people. There's a group of elite people that are actually doing it. Uh, that's all behind the scene doing yeah, it all. Right. You know, bankers like the yeah. Rothschilds. Childs. Jesuits. And yeah. All that stuff. I'm protesting yeah. police officers that steal my car. Oh, straight that's, up. That's, that's highway the robbery. Right. Cars, bikes, yeah. sliced my tent up. Three times in all my clothes. Yeah, and they give you high ass tickets and that you can't even, you gotta pay the ticket, but you can't pay no, the ticket. Then they called me a hooker. Well, they hate me for protesting. Jaywalking? Right. They still do they that? They hate me mom. Wow. They found me. Yeah, yeah. That's that that's 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 yeah, they gonna get, they gonna get what's coming to them though. Oh, I know. They're going to get they gonna yeah. get. They put me in economic despair. I'm not you ain't forced, me we all there. forced into crime. Forced into crime? You took all my tools away. Right. You steal my car. Right. You steal my bike. You steal my tent. Steal my tools. Food. My right. clothes. Right. What so do I have? Home. That's all you can resort to. I'm forced into right. pray despair. The Lord, pray the Lord and the other way. Pray the Lord and the other way. See, if he went to you, he'll be on. Seriously, you, know, you believe in the Lord, don't you? That's all that's why we out here. We, we out here praying right now that the Lord destroys all this shit. Yeah. Well, this is sick. You know, the children of Israel are the curses. You know, they're part of our curses. We can't prosper. Some of us, it's hard to prosper. It's harder to get ahead. You know, you get, you take three steps forward. You got to take one back every once in a while. Not two back every yeah. once in a while. That's the saying or something like that. But you understand what I'm saying though, right? Right. You can't get ahead. It's hard right. to get ahead. We're there. And it's curses. designed like that. It's, this whole world set up like that. The children of Israel. Those curses are, I mean, you know, just because you don't look like a, the, the average Israelite, you know, you still be an Israelite. The Hebrew children. Right. The children, the Hebrew, yeah. the children of Jacob. There's, there's other Hebrews. There's Why Hebrew they, Edomites. Why did they cost you women? Yeah. Right. Why? I ain't never really seen a harassment. I can't answer that. I don't really never see them. They harass everybody. I see the men get, get, uh, get uh, <laughs> we get the brunt of it all. The brunt of it all, you know? Yeah. You know? But a lot of women out there holding a holster, they working for the cops. Yeah. They're setting people up. Like you know? Or they're part of the corporation. I like the, that. Cops, they're, 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 they're the biggest drug dealers, too. They're yeah. great. How do you think the drugs get here? Yep. Yeah. Miss McConnell, you know who Miss McConnell is? Yeah. We're from Detroit. It was Big New. Well, actually, they took it off the news real quick. They found this boat with tons of cocaine on it. Yeah. But, come on, it's his business boat. Right. Of course he knows about it. Right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> of course he knows about it. What do you think's running the drug trade? The Clintons and Bushes. Yeah. They're running it. Bushes. Uh, they put the Escobars out of business. Yeah. They the Reagan's, Reagan's family's from yeah. all behind of them. it, too. All the political lines. Yeah, all, all of them. Yeah. All of them. Yeah, they're all, all of them. Right. You know? Hey, you don't want to... You, you don't know about uh, the opium trade in uh, China in the past? Oh, yeah. England. I think it was in Great Britain. Was Afghanistan, that's why they went in Afghanistan. Yeah, they were over there for that dope. Yeah, I know. In yeah. Vietnam, same thing. Right, right. But who who they lock up, though? Right. <laughs> you and I. They lock up these people for selling it and using it. Right. Why is alcohol legal, though, when it's the number one killer? Because yeah. it destroys your fucking life. Right. right. And they but want yeah, weed isn't legal. 
So it doesn't fun. make sense. Yeah, all this shit. Hemp, they put hemp up. I see <laughs> weed destroy lives too. People waste all their money on weed just so they, they go get high. They call right. weed the gateway drug. At least. Yeah. You know? My boyfriend used to smuggle it in in 1982. Yeah, my uncles used to traffic it in. in the late 60s, early 70s, he used to traffic it in. Kilos of hemp. Here in Columbus, they, they was one of the first to bring it here. My, my wicked ass uncles. <laughs> oh, everybody's on the dope Working now. Working for the actual gun. It's hard to find you know, their head. They killed two of them. Maybe they were talking. Yeah, no. Two on one person. Right here. You used to have a gas station in every corner, and now you got a drug store. Yes, yeah. right. oh, oh, see, see, the, the devil's. Devil yeah, the devil. Only the devil's allowed to sell drugs. Yeah, if you do it, you go. Word. You go to jail. Right. This is his kingdom. Yeah. This is the devil's kingdom. Only right. he can do. He been on chilling drugs in my kingdom. This is my shit. Yeah, but they is. think he, he think he he saw think he the godfather. Isn't yeah. it paid for though? <laughs> it's all been paid for though, hasn't it? Yeah, that's why they want to get to everybody in these hospitals, get you addicted to them opioids and all that. I got kicked out because I asked too many questions. You know the number one to kick you out? Right. What had happened was I went in to get my two pills and the doctor, the dentist, was a crook. So he drilled my wrong teeth. So he drilled the wrong teeth and my jaw was. Oh my god, it hurt so bad. So I went back to Madden Dennis. She said he drove too deep. He didn't close it. All your nerves are exposed. But my face swelled up here. So I had five times in the ER and I said, What are you putting in my vein? What is that? What is that? And I kept asking. And he's like, You know what, ma'am? You need to leave. No, he was there. He was messing up his hustle. He was messing up his hustle. What do you think I'm just gonna... I said, I don't want all that in me. I don't trust them doctors and dentists, none of them fools. You know what the number one cause of death is right now? Doctors. A doctor. Hell yeah. There's actually a word for it. They made a word for it. I lost my house to a doctor. Pharma guy. They messed up my husband's knees. Really, I mean, if you take care of yourself and you eat right and stuff, you'll never be in a hospital. That's right. You know? And you use faith. Because they'll get you in there, get you on all them drugs. Yeah. And next day you, you go to the hospital for a broken bone, you come out. I mean, you might end up staying there. Yeah, you might not come out at all. Yeah, you might not come back. Check this out. Check this out. This is showing up 38th and, um, and 12th. It says, then give place to the physician, for the Lord had created him. Let him not go from thee, for thou hast need of him. There is a time when in, in their hands there is good success, for they shall also pray unto the Lord, that he will prosper that which they give for ease and remedy to prolong life. He that sinneth, this is my point, he that sinneth before his maker, let him fall into the hand of the physician. You know, <laughs> not following after the Lord's his commandments, you're gonna find yourself up in the hospitals, get injected, whatever. I'll give you like a, a good example is like, you know, there's laws in the Bible that, that tell us how to eat, what foods to eat, right. what food not to eat. Right. A certain food gonna mess your body up like eating pork. Right. You know there's a commandment that tells we ain't supposed to eat that shit. That's right. You eat that pork, next thing you know you in a hospital, high yeah. cholesterol, it's heart attack. It's full of poison. The, the, yeah. the well, swine worms, doesn't worms, have a digestive worms, system yeah. and it all goes into the meat. Yeah, and you yeah. can't cook it up. Well, oh, that's no. crazy, man. Hey, you had to burn it. It still amazes me people eat that shit. <laughs> I know. I mean, no bacon. Problem. Let's face it, bacon does taste good, but... <laughs> hey, they just came out... Not uh, all I mean, things are I'm, good for you. I still remember the taste and the smell, but it right. was delicious. But yeah. once I found out you weren't supposed to eat it, right. it's not me. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I don't care how good... I remember I, lobster was delicious. Oh, yeah. Good. You Bottom know, I gave up all that. But look, put a lobster next to a roach. There ain't much difference. <laughs> there ain't no much difference, but, but color. <laughs> right, right, right. Lobster looks kind of scary. I'm going to eat this. Man, I used to always eat lobster and steak. That was my thing. Oh, yeah, yeah sure. I, I, got, I had an expensive taste. Sure. You know, I was around women that had money. Taking care of a brother. Yeah, that is. Those are good for a wife. What's up? What happened to all the women? Where you been, man? Locked up? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't, you, you I don't do the whole thing. You got some drama with your brother or something? Yeah, hey, hey, nice talking to you. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I killed right. back in November. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, I, Whatever come, come of that, though. Right yeah. They probably did it. <laughs> nah, it was uh, it was his uh, his girlfriend, baby, baby dad, killed him. He's living. That's right. Day before that happened, I've been talking on the phone just about the day I had to do. Get like fifteen hundred dollars. Get a 
away from that shit, so you don't have to worry about that. Oh, come on. Next phone call I got, he was shot in the head. Damn. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Hey. Oh, well. People don't learn to see the wicked. Don't learn. They, don't. They, they, they they keep going on with their shit, but a, a righteous man get punished, and we understand why. And we you know we we sit back home feeling salty as hell thinking about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But a wicked man, just keep on doing what he do. But look, check it out. My, I got a brother that we shot like 12 times, man. 12 times. And still, well, he in prison now, but he's still alive, though, you know? Twelve times all together, it's like through years. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but he nothing he, he always remained the worst piece of low life garbage I've ever known in my life. You know? I wouldn't I wouldn't I'm telling you, I would not save his life if I had the chance to. If I saw him in a situation of dying, I would just walk away, man. That's the type of individual he was, man. Yeah, I got I got a friend like that, man. I had a That's crazy. I took took him and his girl off the street and they begged me, he let me just let me crash on the floor. Right, 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 right. You know, crashing the floor, you know what I'm saying? I got enough space, and you know, I don't like being by myself. Like you don't come with somebody to talk to. So, he came up in there. Then, three weeks, me and the girl was, you know, he don't smoke because he don't smoke. I smoke. She smoke. So, we smoking together. You know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, we fucking. But we ain't fucking. Excuse me. Oh, okay. You know but you. Pretty much is fucking No, I'm not, I'm not fucking. That's still a dog. You see, if the scripture mentioned drink a wine with somebody's wife, you know what I'm saying? But go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. Uh, so, but don't weed. We, we, we smoking. You know, he's right there. Right, right. We all sitting there smoking. So, he found out that I got my place, right? And I guess in his fucking mind, he's thinking, he got his place. He go. He gonna move out of here and take my girl with him. So the day that I, the day that I signed my lease, I come home and him and his homeboys done cleared out my whole house, all my shit. Damn. So I found him. I found him down on Broad. I just asked him like, "Yo, where my shit at?" You know, Yo, him and his, him and his dude just jump. Right here, hit me in the face with a bat. Hit me in the back. Go to my ribs. Go to my ribs. I was trying to give you that warning shot. Damn, man. Yeah. See, the scripture tells you about letting go. You can't let anybody in the house. Yeah. Now you know. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, let me get that script. You know, I was trying to think, I was trying to find it myself. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. These are instructions. Yeah, that's, that's what I get. That's what I get for helping right. you out. Yeah, that's what you get. What's that? The Everybody world? ain't your brother. Just because he may look like a brother. Everybody ain't your brother, man. You know? 
But this Bible is an instruction book, an instruction manual how to live. And that's what happens when you go all from it. You go off. <laughs> this, this all is all kinds of stuff going on. I mean, believe me, man, even though we've been we, we trying to be to the scriptures as much as possible, it's very difficult not to go off. And you constantly go off. Constantly. Sometimes you it's hard, man. Going off, you just take most I'm gonna kill you right there. Yeah, for real, man. It's hard, man. It's difficult. But the thing is, we're consistent. We're trying to make an effort not to go. There's a difference. Most I've seen those people out there trying. Look down, see, he see the man who's trying. Trying and crying. Most I always come right in, right in, exactly when I need it. The last yeah, right, second. Right, right, right. Like, Listen, uh, he gave you a warning shot, though, like I said. Yeah. yeah like, uh, <laughs> They gave me a warning shot too. <laughs> they gave us all warning shots. <laughs> they gave me a couple of them. I was going, I was going to the Pierce Center. Yeah, yeah. And really, I didn't get to Pierce Center. I was just going to the Pierce Center because you know my brother had got killed, yeah, and yeah. I didn't really want to go and try to find another job right then and there. But then they kicked me out the Pierce Center because I told them something about how they is. You know what I'm saying? What's your best in that? And this white boy that kept talking about, you know, right. Pierce Center taking you to the movies, right? And I, and, and I said, well, let's go see Black Panther. And he said, no, nah, let's go see uh, White Supremacy. Well, that's not good. I'm like, back to Black Panther. Check out your I don't want to even see that garbage in there. So I, I at least don't hear his ass. So he went broke. So they kicked me out of prison. Well, you know, well, this is the thing about the most high. Okay. This is the thing. About I mean, I got As control, I'm rolling out of the prison, coming down broad, not working or nothing. Holy Spirit tapped on my shoulder and said, hey, go in here and give these people a verbal resume. I went to the spaghetti warehouse and gave them a verbal resume, let them know what I could do, how long I had worked in the restaurant industry. He said, where do you want to start? After all, he said, where do you want to start? That was a few months ago. That was a few months ago. He said, where do you want to start? I said, where do you want me to start? He said, I want you to start tomorrow. 